Hey guys, Daniel here from Southern Soul Printing and Apparel in North Carolina. Uh, we're here in our dark room, that's why you see the yellow light, uh, for our very first video. Um, we started Southern Soul less than a year ago. We've learned a ton of things along the way. Um, so we know what it's like starting up and we want to share some of those cost saving things, some of those sh not quite shortcuts, but just cost savings, efficient things, out of the box thinking type things to help you save a few dollars along the way. Um, today, like I said, we're in our dark room, so we're going to focus on our emulsion coating process. Um, if you're already in the screen printing business, you know that this is the most crucial step um, in, in setting up the artwork on the screen to get ready to print. So, if this part goes bad, you're going to have not very good look throughout the run. Um, it is one of, the crucial, one of the most crucial steps. So, let's get started. I'm trying to save you money on a screen holder stand. For this scoop coating process, they sell them. Your your screen slides in, it kind of locks in. It's, it looks like a little painting frame, whatnot. Um, if you can, don't spend the money on it. If you got a good table, put it against the wall. Take you some nails, drill them in the wall there, and you can see it does the same thing. As I apply pressure to this screen, this screen is not moving. And that's what you need when, you, when you're when you coating the screen. You want that screen to be sturdy so you get that good even coat. Those nails do the same thing as that $100, $150 stand. Okay? Same thing. Okay. Next thing, I want to save you on the screen rack. They're awesome. I, we, we personally have one, um, but <laughs> in the beginning, they're not, they're not required. There's ways around a screen rack. So what I'm going to show you is a way around the screen rack. Um, I have one over, uh, screen over here coated behind the, behind the camera here, and I'm going to coat another one uh, for you on camera, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. So let me show you how my screws work. And for those who, who aren't familiar with... Uh, emulsion coating. Um, there's tons of preferences. Um, a lot of folks say do one coat uh, print side, one uh, the ink side. Um, personally, over the last few months, we've had great success with one good coat on this side of the screen. Um, it washes out easy. Uh, we've had some really, really fine detail here lately, and it just that two coats, um, it takes a little more pressure for us to wash out, and then our design starts to wash out. So, I'm gonna say, from personal experience, recently, the one coat, this side of the screen, has worked great for us, and that's for us. So, I'm gonna show you this. Um, of course, scoop, uh, scoop cutter firmly against the screen. You wanna tilt it, just so your emulsion beads up just a little bit. I always count to about three one seconds, and then you want to keep this angle all the way through here in the zip of the screen. There we go. Make that angle. As you get to the top, you want to lean it back. Let's all that excess drip back into the coater, and bam. Right, you can see that. And look how clean that one one coat is there and that has been doing doing us wonders here lately it saved us a lot of time uh, it does save you on emulsion cost um, so that's just one another cost saving thing there that maybe you know just focus on getting one good coat and cut your emulsion uses in half so our next step our next cost saving hint here for our screen rack we're going to use cardboard shims okay take a little cardboard shim throw a little tape on it throw it in the corner of the screen here you're gonna do this for every corner of the screen okay and what this is allow us to do you'll see in just a second we'll be able to stack our screens giving a little gap in between each screen for the airflow for them to dry, which in turn 
is a homemade screen rack. So let's turn you around this way. Here's our coated screen already on the table in our dark room. Take our screen we just coated with the shims on it. And you want those shims to fit right in the corner. And bam. There you go. got your gap enough airflow to allow a good eight hour dry time um, you can stack as many high as you have space as many high as your table will hold so for the cardboard boxes that your shirts come in instead of just chunking them out take them cut them down cut you some shims a little scotch tape there's your $300 screen rack. Take your screws in the wall. There's your $150 screen holder for coating. Um, focus on your one good coat on the, I guess the print side of the screen. Cut your emulsion usage in half. And bam, you've got a great start to a good business right there. Thank you for listening. Thank you for choosing Southern Soul for your business, for those that have. Um, we're looking forward to make, making a ton of these videos. We've got a couple other things we'd like to share with you. Please share any advice with us. Like I said, we, we love learning. We're not opposed to learning. We never will be opposed to learning. Um, please keep the comments nice. Um, we're all one big screen printing family here. So uh, print on, lay it down.